Tropical soda apple is an exotic plant in Florida. It was first seen in the state in Glades County in 1988 and quickly spread throughout the state and into uh, some neighboring states in the southeastern United States. Tropical soda apple is a problem because it gets into pastures and rangelands where it displaces grasses so you can have, uh, ranchers have, can put fewer cattle uh, on an acre of uh, pasture land. Uh, tropical soda apple spreads by cattle which feed on the fruit and also by wild animals such as deer and feral hogs which feed on the fruit and they carry the seeds in, the, in their digestive tracts from one place to another, defecate, and then a new population of plants can start up in that new area. And it can also be transplanted or transferred from one area to another in hay, uh, which is harvested from an area which has tropical soda apple, or in turf, which is cut from a, a field which has tropical soda apple and then planted somewhere else. Tropical soda apple can be easily identified by well, it's, well, it's what we call a well-armed plant, which means it has thorns all over to prickles. So it's got prickles on the top sides of the leaves, on the undersides of the leaves, and all along the stem, uh, straight prickles. So it's kind of a nasty thing to handle. Uh, it's a perennial plant. Uh, it can grow year-round as long as it stays warm enough. Uh, freeze will kill it back, um, but if it stays warm, the plant will keep growing. Here you see the flowers. Uh, the petals are white, the center is a creamy yellow. The fruits are about an inch in diameter when they're uh, fully grown. Uh, when they're immature, they have the coloration of watermelons, uh, so they look like little bitty watermelons. And then as they get older, they turn yellow, uh, kind of a bright yellow. And each fruit can contain 200 to 400 seeds, and a plant can produce 40 or 50,000 seeds uh, during a year. So it has the possibility of rapidly increasing its numbers, uh, population size. There's one plant which soda apple could be confused with, and that is called red soda apple. And it's people, uh, the experts don't agree on whether red so soda apple is a native plant or an exotic plant, but it has been in Florida for a very long time. It can be distinguished from tropical soda apple by its leaves, which are much shinier, and by its fruit. When the fruit is ripe, it's bright red whereas with soda apple, the fruit is yellow when it's ripe.